guys, Tweak Talker here. I'm here to talk to you about the Corsair RGB headphone stand. There have been numerous complaints about this thing disconnecting from a PC, but I think I might have found a solution for you. After many hours of researching the internet and looking around for the right answer, none of them worked for me. Some of the solutions entailed changing the code, downloading patches, reverting back to older patches, older software, plugging it into different ports, and the all too famous turn your computer back on and off again. It all got so old, I got so frustrated, and I felt defeated. I was so disappointed because everybody knows I'm a huge Corsair fan. But I did read a review that was talking about plugging this thing into a 3.1 USB card. And I went to Amazon and I bought a four port PCI Express USB card 3.1. Each channel gets its own power of 15 watts. So that was actually wonderful because now you can charge your devices. Even though this thing's gonna be in your computer and plugged into it, you have to, you know, if, if it's hard to get to your computer in the back and you have to plug in devices to charge, then it's probably not the best idea. However, some devices that you use on a routine basis do require power, and this is one of them. This headphone stand has three ports on it already. And if you think about it, the dongle is powered to send a signal to the headphones, if you get the headphones for it, and that plugs into it, and they suggest that you put it there. And it's got another USB port on the side that they say you can charge off of. And now it's got an eight millimeter jack that pushes a signal that changes any set of headphones to 7.1 surround sound it's probably going to require a little bit of power. When you're installing this, please, if you've never done anything inside your computer before, take heed to this warning here. Make sure you unplug your power and that you ground yourself on something, someone. Make sure that you don't shock the motherboard and, and damage any of the peripherals in it. And also, don't shock yourself. Open up your case, and if you have a PCI Express card slot available in your computer, you will take this card and you will insert it into the slot, tighten it back up, put your case back together, plug in your power, turn it on, and Windows 10 picked up the drivers for this seamlessly, like it had always been there. As soon as I plugged in my headphone set stand, the thing worked beautifully. It's been working for the past three days now, and I haven't had any problems with it. I've even got my Oculus Rift plugged into two of them, being that I have an extra port now, and I needed it because I needed to expand for USB. If you have a gaming system and you're doing studios, and you have audio software, and it requires hardware, and blah, 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 the list is endless, it's probably a good idea to expand anyway, but you also have to ensure that you have a large enough power supply in your computer. Now, I'm lucky enough to have an 850 watt power supply in my computer, and I'm only running one peripheral that really requires a lot of power, and that's a 1080 GTX. But if your power supply is too small, make sure that you spend some time or money and upgrade that as well. And if you don't know how to, either ask a friend or take it to a professional and have them put that power supply in for you. Now you'll be able to use all of your peripherals. Because if you think about it, now I have the entire line of peripherals for Corsair. That requires a lot of power on its own. One of the things that the Corsair products don't like is when you have multiple USBs daisy chained through your to your computer. So if you have two even though they might be powered themselves and they're 3.1 and they're daisy changed to your computer, that one port is taking on a lot of data and a lot of strain. So limit that by getting yourself this PCI Express card and spread the wealth because if you isolate the power in one, you might be doing damage to your computer in the long run. So if you like this episode, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, tell your family, tell your friends, spread the word, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good night.